I initially received a call from the Department of Agriculture from their district veterinary office about some donkeys that were in poor condition in terms of their feet were overgrown and that they felt that they needed to be removed from the area that they were in and would I come and assess them for them. The welfare department in the donkey sanctuary managed the relinquishment intakes of donkeys um, for the 32 counties of Ireland and they come to us from a variety of sources. On this particular occasion today our donkey welfare advisor for this area had a call from a vet who works for the Department of Agriculture concerned about donkeys on farmland belonging to a bachelor farmer who simply wasn't in a position to be able to manage those animals into the future. When we arrived it was, it was clear straight away that the hooves were, were not good, that there were at least three or four adult mares that we could see with, with very overgrown hooves. The rest of the donkeys were actually very nervous and it was quite difficult to get near. But in terms of their body condition, they were okay. But certainly, judging from their behaviour, they weren't used to human interaction, which led us to be suspicious that probably they weren't having any attention with their feet. When they're on soft ground like they were on, that helps to keep the discomfort down a little bit. But you could see as soon as they get onto a hard surface, they're actually quite sore and lame but it also allows infection to get into the hooves and cause abscesses, which are extremely painful. It also distorts the shape of the hoof itself, the internal structures can cause problems like laminitis and just general discomfort and pain and suffering for the donkeys. We take decisions about moving donkeys very seriously. We take decisions about taking donkeys into the sanctuary quite seriously, because frankly, this year we're looking at taking something like 500 donkeys as relinquishments. That's a huge number by anybody's standards and all the financial implications that go with that. So the next step is that the ones that are, are fit for transport um, have, are already going to be leaving today on the lorry to head down to the sanctuary. They'll go into one of our, our holding bases and they'll start their process of blood tests and health checks and any further hoof care that they need and they'll be assessed and monitored and kept in isolation from other donkeys so that we ensure that we do not bring contagious disease into the rest of the herd. These ones here, we will come back in another couple of days, allow them a little bit of time to settle in and relax. There are a couple of mares that are pregnant, so we need to make sure that they're fit for transporting. But we, we work very closely with this rescue here with my lovely horse, and they understand the needs of the donkeys, so we're, we're quite happy to leave them here as long as is necessary. It's a wonderful feeling today actually for me to see them in out of the rain and I've spent quite a few days with them out in, in the storms and the rain and looking at poor little miserable faces sort of huddled under ditches trying to get in out of the weather. So to see, for me to see them here today with nice deep beds of straw and a roof over their heads is absolutely fantastic and it was difficult having to walk away from them every day making friends with them and having to walk away and leave them in the rain, but at least I knew I was going to come back and we'd have this result at the end of it.